Hi, this is Robert Petito from WAMS Tech, and today we're going to show you a couple of the platforms that you'll use as a parent. The two platforms we're going to show you today are Plus Portals and Power School Learning. And both of these platforms are available right from the Woodward website. So let's dive in. So when I navigate to woodward.edu, at the top you'll see a link that says Current Families. Clicking on Current Families, I now see two more buttons at the top. One says Parent Portal, and one says Classroom Portal. To sign into the parent portal, simply click the parent portal, and you'll be prompted to sign in with the email address you used for registration. Here I've already signed in, and that now to access plus portals, simply scroll down to student grades, and then where it says click here, click the link. So click here to access your student grade. This should let you automatically into plus portals. If you're getting any sort of error message at the top, saying that it can't sign you in and that your account is not found, please email login at woodward.edu for assistance. So once you're in, you should be able to see your children and their classes, and you can dive in to each of these classes by clicking on more or by clicking on the class themselves. Clicking on more will give you an overview of the child as well as their recent scores and recent assessment dates and things of that nature. You can switch between your other children over here as well. Uh, for each of your students' classes, you should see a letter grade associated to that. And if you'd like to see the breakdown of the letter grade, you can click on the letter grade itself to see all of the scores that constitute. Now, one feature that I like to point out to all the parents is email notifications. Let's set those up. Simply click on your name at the top right-hand corner here and select Email Notifications. And here you can select when you want the grades sent to you for all recent scores. What I like to do is have them weekly. Uh, I don't have them every day because I'll be getting emails every day with just a recent update to a student's score. If you want that, great. But I typically do weekly. And then what's nice is at the end of the week, I'll get a PDF digest of the student's scores and what constitute those scores as well. Um, I check these boxes here. Uh, the, the summary of your child's averages and grades in each class, as well as the individual assignment scores, as well as the child's attendance. Okay, this is really the only way to track your child's attendance is through these type of weekly reports. Okay. Uh, class announcements um, and school announcements and group announcements we don't typically use. This was checked on by default. Um, but you can also receive email notifications and I guess push notifications as well if you have the Parent Portal app installed on your device. And then here you can set your email address as well as if you would like to have these reports sent to other email addresses, for example, your spouse or a significant other, uh, you can go ahead and type in their email. If you'd like to see what that looks like, you can check this box to send the email notification now and select Save Email Notification Settings. And now you'll have access to not only their grades when you want, but also at the end of every week or at the end of every day or if you want it every month. Uh, you can receive their PDF scores via email. So that's Parent Portal and Plus Portals. The other platform here is Classroom Portal. And uh, we brand it Classroom Portal. Really, it's Power School Learning. Right? So if I click on Classroom Portal here, um, it's going to ask me to sign in. Here, I've already signed in. Let me sign out just so you see what that screen looks like. Now, on the left-hand side here, you can see you can sign in with Google. This is really reserved for the students and the staff. On the right hand side is where you want to sign in. And it's going to be your first name, dot last name, along with the password that you created upon registration for PowerSchool Learning. Uh, this password may or may not be the same as your parent portal login. So uh, make sure you write down what that password is. And if you forgot what your password is, you can always click on the Forgot Your Password button. All right, upon signing in, uh, you'll see basically the exact same view that your children see. Only difference is, is you get to see all of your students at once. So on the left-hand side where it says My Classes, I can click on this little arrow over here and break it down for just one of your children rather than all of your children. Because let's face it, if you have four children like me that attend Woodward, that's a little overwhelming with <laughs> all the different classes. That you take. So I always break it down for this, the child that I want to see at any particular time. Right? And now I can see a list of just their classes along with just their calendar and just their announcements for that particular child. 
just like with the plus portals, if you want to go ahead and see and adjust your settings, come over here to the avatar on the top right hand corner and go to my information at the top. And a couple things you want to look out for. One, uh, make sure that your primary email here is uh, confirmed. If your email has not yet been confirmed, you'll see a message that says so. Make sure you confirm your email because otherwise any activity or notifications or messages that happen through PowerSchool Learning won't be sent to this email. So just definitely make sure that this is verified. Uh, and then afterwards, you can change your notifications here by switching to the Notifications tab. And here you can set the different notifications that you'd like to be received of for PowerSchool Learning. Uh, this could be anything about a new class announcement. Uh, the announcements that we're using this year are going to be the, uh, the, the cycle lesson plans and homework. So feel free to definitely mark that as being a daily email or an instant SMS if you'd like. Now, most of these are reserved for the student, but the one that is kind of nice is the one at the bottom here that says, I have updates to content in my classes. This feature will allow you to receive messages when a teacher has posted a new resource or possibly created a new page on their classroom page. Uh, so you can always have rest assured that you're going to see and be notified of updated content on their class. All right, that's really it. So being able to sign into those two platforms, again, can be done through woodward.edu forward slash parents is the shortcut there. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at robert.petito at woodward.edu. And as always, thanks for watching.